Whoa! Guys, that was amazing. But what's more amazing, guys, is that we finally hit 250,000 subscribers. Now, I have a new challenge for you. Our brand new goal is 500,000 subscribers. So before this video gets started, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to click that post notification bell for more videos and live streams. Now I gotta go guys, I'm late for my race, I'll see you in the video! Alright, I thought I'd hop into uh, CDT real quick guys because I saw this tweet and you know, I thought there was a new update. But as I hop in, in here guys and you know what, let me go read this tweet to you. And as I actually re read this to you guys, be sure you guys click that like and subscribe button right now. So it says, some models in CDT have been changed slash redesign this has been to avoid large-scale issues and is only done to benefit everyone we understand some may be upset with the changes but it's uh, the best we can do please try to send send us your feedback and we'll try to listen to them all right here we go this is my feedback all right I know they're gonna watch this video and they're probably gonna hate me for this. This is something I will say guys is I saw this coming a while ago. I just didn't know how it was gonna be, you know, presented or when it was gonna be. And, and another thing is I really wish they would have, you know, um, at least told us exactly what they were changing in here. They were just gonna be like, oh, we made some changes to CDT, but we're not gonna tell you exactly what it is. You're just gonna have to find it yourself. And exactly that's what we did, guys. So I hopped into Car Dealership Tycoon and try to see what some of these changes or redesign that they had in the game. They didn't really tell us is it going to be a car or is it going to be like some type of, you know, part of the map or taking out a race. They just said, you know, some changes in here. So I went and investigated myself and what I found was shocking. Is it me or this car is like super OP when it comes to the drift race? Look at this. I'm barely even trying and we already got 6,000. How is this even possible? And why is there no, there's no car noise? Is, is this electric? It sounds like an electric car. Okay, ADHD almost kicked in. But I was saying, guys, <laughs> they did change a couple of the car brands in the game. And I'm here to show you which they are. So let's check out some of the cars that they actually changed in here, guys. And one of them is actually the Ferraris. And guys, I, I, I kind of... Uh, yeah, my heart dropped when I saw this. Like, they, they changed even the LaFerrari. You guys can see how different it kind of looks in the front now. And, um, <laughs> you guys can see the J50 is a little bit different, too. You guys can see that this is kind of supposed to look like the, um, the SF90 Stradale, but now it kind of looks like the old 458. But the biggest change that I should have seen, guys, is the Bugattis, especially after they've taken off the bugatti in the middle of the city guys they actually changed it at first they changed the name and now they actually changed the car you guys can see that oh my gosh this is the bugatti chiron oh no no this is the bugatti veyron actually and you guys can see it looks like the um the bugatti from gta san andreas this is oh this is horrible no not the cat eyes bro not the cat eyes. It looks like Driving Empire's Bugatti. No way, guys. Okay, so this is the Bugatti Veyron right here. We also got the police Bugatti right over here, guys. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. <laughs> and then we also got the regular... Oh, don't tell me they changed my Atlantic. They changed my Atlantic, bro. And then let's see here. We also got the... No, they have the Chiron. Ew, look at the Chiron. No. Oh, no. They look like GTA San Andreas one. What? Okay. Um, They didn't change our Mistral. Thank God. The Mistral still looks beautiful. Oh, they kind of smoothed it out. I don't like that. Eh. Okay. Let's see here. We also got the Laventure Neor. Please tell me... Okay, this one is still intact. Yes. This one is still intact. Okay, what's next? What do we got? The Bugatti Gran Turismo Sport. Oh, yes. This one is still intact, boys. Okay, we still got the good ones. Okay, what about the Super Sport? Oh my gosh, okay. Alright, this is it right here. This is it. I, I, I feel like they're gonna change this within the next couple days. And then we got the Bugatti Bolide. We're still good with this. 
Oh my gosh. And we still got that Lantic. Still good with that. But everything else, they changed it. Oh, look. The Chendo Diechi. We still have the Chendo Diechi right over here. Nice. And what else? Uh, I think that's it. Oh, wait. Did they change the Devo? They did. Ew, look at the Devo's lights. What the heck is that? In the wing. What's with the wing, bro? It looks like a tech deck ramp. Oh, my gosh. And then the lights. I got to change the color of my car because I can't really see where the lights are. Okay, there we go. Wow. Okay, the lights kind of stayed the same. The lights stay the same. The hood is horrible. Look at that horseshoe, guys. It looks like GTA 5s. Oh, my gosh. This is wild. And then, yeah. And then they, they changed the... Uh, the super sport too guys r.i.p to the super sport no no look at this oh wait no they still have it it's the same perfect they still have it the same this is what i wanted guys perfect now since remac is in the same family as bugatti yes remac owns bugatti guys if you didn't know that i'm wondering if they're gonna change remac as well and it doesn't seem like they are pretty soon especially since we just got a couple of cars in so as of right now they still haven't changed it it's still the same still looks beautiful but hopefully either one thing could happen either Rymac also disappears from the game and we get an off-brand version or we get Bugatti back with a Rymac collab also guys that would be pretty cool but those are the changes in the game what do I think about it I think it's horrible I'm not gonna lie to you I absolutely love Bugatti and the fact that they're making it look like GTA 5 graphics is uh, terrible I wish they would have done something a little bit different and I'm kind of scared to see what's going to happen to the Love and True Neor and the rest of the Bugattis, guys. And I'm kind of scared to see what's going to happen to the rest of the cars in here. So the cool thing is they're not taking out cars. It seems like they're just replacing them. Um, this one, they actually changed. I actually just noticed it. Look at, look at it, guys. They actually changed this one. Big oval hood right over here. And you guys can see the lights. Look, this, these are not the original lights. I know these are not the OG lights. I don't know, guys. Maybe I'm a little paranoid that they're changing all the Bugattis. But I, at the same time, I wish they would have probably changed it a little bit differently. But at the same time, I don't know if we're going to get the licenses back in the future. Hopefully we do because these other car manufacturers are going to like, like Hennessy and Rymac. So I don't see why Bugatti would not do it, guys. So... Hopefully we get the license back and we get all the models back. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below of these new changes. Do you guys like them? Do you not? Let me know. Be honest. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.